Hello guys, welcome to a, another video. This one was requested a long time ago. I apologize for the delay, but it was just how I got the vocals done in this particular track. I did a video a while ago showing how they started and like how I like to process vocals and things like that. And I showed a bit of this track and you could see the massive vocal process going on and I just sort of did like an A and B, it went from not so great to sounding all right, like I'm not massively happy with this vocal to be honest, now it's in, a, in perspective and out in the world looking back on it, I think I could have done some things differently, I think I could have improved on it, maybe not even used it at all, re-recorded, that sort of thing, but I went with it at the time, this is what we've got, and uh, I'm just going to show you guys effectively the process, specifically looking at the vocals. So we're going to take this main section here, I think. If we grab this little chunk here, let's hear what we've got. By the way, if you're wondering why it's such a busy track, I've got multiple edits in here. So I've got a longer version over on the right, shorter version on the left, and I do that quite a lot, just so I can have different breakdowns and different ideas of the track without having to have two copies of it and mixing it. If I make a mix adjustment, it affects the other one, so the balances remain the same. And uh, it's just a good option, so I can play through the short version, go, yeah, kind of like that. Play through the longer version, go, yeah, that works better. Change things about. Uh, do it quite a lot, and for this time, I've just opened this up. And you can see it was originally called Late Drive, and this is just the both edits mix. So let's hear what we've got in this bit here. By the way, we might run into this a lot because it's a busy track and I'm recording as well. It takes a hit on the old computer. We'll go with that right from the start here. So the vocal track as it stands is only like these three stems really. It's just this here. If we solo those out. Riding all night long with you by my side. Nothing left to say. Feeling emptiness inside. Silence fills the air as I'm looking right at you. It feels like our time has passed and there's no going back. Darkness inside of me. Now when you look you get the idea, covered in echo, covered in reverb. And a lot of that is to cover up like mistakes and inconsistencies in the vocal. And I'll show you what I mean by turning off all of these glorious plugins. And so we've got all that processing going on there. Then there's a vocal channel and we've got all of this on it as well. Let's get rid of all of that. It's going to be a drastic difference. Riding all night long with you by my side nothing left to say feeling emptiness inside silence fills the air and there it's still going to the splitters and the room as well although my lexicon's not loaded we will live with it we're going to persevere because it takes about 10 minutes to open this project riding all night long with you by my side Nothing left to say, feeling emptiness inside. Silence fills the air as I'm looking right at you. It feels like our time has passed and there's no... There we go, we're finally dry. So we've got these three channels and collectively with everything going on, four buses all affecting it, which are rooted into each other and different things that you probably shouldn't be doing, but hey, we'll live with it. So. Riding all night long with you by my side, nothing left to say, feeling emptiness inside. Silent. Riding, so riding it's it's really dry. Long. There's lots of syllables. It fluctuates a lot as well in terms of tune. I mean, if you now play it in with the track. It goes in and out of tune, and the syllabance is the only thing that really, <coughs> the only syllabance is the only thing that really cuts through. So to tackle all of these things, if we just look at the main one here, so number twenty-one, 
we're gonna solo you out and that's the first bit Riding all night long. very first thing I've got going on is pitch correction just using the default logic one yeah I think it's fine some people swear against it honestly it does the job in a lot of cases and I've got a slightly I to say a slightly fast attack about 57.8 milliseconds I'm not sure if that is relevant to anything in the track it might be let's have a look um, there you go, so 1 over 24, 160 ticks would be 57.5, so it's pretty damn close at being relevant to the BPM in terms of it would be 1 over 24. Riding all night long, with you by my side, nothing left to say. Now that's cleaning it up a little bit straight away. Putting that back in the mix, it's now going to sit a little bit better, especially in this area here where it goes a bit off. Looking right at you. It feels like your time is fast and there's no going back. So off. Now we get it on. Of course, it just holds it in key a little bit better. Exactly what pitch corrections are there to do. After that, we've got the old fab filter, and that's going to do a bit of correction and just level the balance out a bit for us and take out some of the low end. If I remember right, it was quite a bit of like unnecessary low end in the recording. By the way, I didn't get to do the recording. I um, commissioned it out, paid for it, um, got the stems back, and well, this is what I got to work with. So we solo you out. Let's get you turned on. Riding all night long. With you by my side. If I remember rightly, let's put you on pre and see if there was loads of low end in there. Riding yeah, there we go. Along, with you by my side. So you see here on Fab Filter, the roll off here is affecting one of the frequency displays, and then you see a load of low end here that comes back in. Riding or here. All along, I'm just cutting that with out. With you by my side. Nothing left to say. Just overly balancing the audio, um, making it so it sounds a little bit flatter, to be honest, because it was all over the place and not sitting perfectly in the mix. So in this case, I have gone EQ before compression, but we do EQ again further down the line. I know, insane, right? So let's listen to that. Now I've just done the pitch correction and a little bit of EQ just to balance it out. Okay, so now without the EQ. Yeah, so it's subtle, but it brings out the definition in the vocal a little bit more. You can understand what's being said. You know, in an area here, it is three decibels louder, so it should become a little bit more clear. And that's what I worked with. I've pulled out a nasty little sounding frequency here, if we solo it, I remember it being quite distorted in some places. Yeah, so if you, you might have to turn that up a bit, but you can hear it's just distorting his mic and it's not a nice sound. So just control that there, and it's right in the sibilance area as well, which is why you're getting so much sibilance in that recording. Asked. But hey, we can fix it. We've started fixing it early, and we carry on fixing it as we go along. So after here we've then got an ancient 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 eq which is our compressor i like it because it's it can be really soft it's really good for pumping when you want to really really crush something it it does it well um i cannot wait for waves to update the gui though because it's freaking tiny riding all night long with you by my side nothing left to say feeling emptiness inside so there you go. So it's mainly taking about three decibel reduction, but you see on the louder parts where it cuts through nice and easy, I'm taking as much as six out. And that's because there's that much width in the vocal and that much fluctuation that it's just not feasible otherwise. Um, so I've had to do it. Of course, you can see here just how much it fluctuates. As well, this recording, it's not taking advantage of the headroom at all. It's recorded really low, but 
Again, this is what we had to work with, so it's what we have worked with. After that compressor, we've got another compressor. If you think that's insane, um, just look up, lots and lots of people do this. Um, Dave Pensado, I think, is the person that I got this from. Using one compressor to pick up one part of the sound, using another compressor right after it to pick up another should be compressing by a subtle amount. Honestly, I don't remember, so we're gonna have a little look here. I, I would hope only sort of one to two dB, but hey, maybe it slams and whatever works, whatever sounds good is good. Cool, there we go, so it's taking about a decibel. And I use the LA-2A or VC-2A, this one. Uh, it's the Native Instruments soft tube one just to level it out a little bit more. I'm not sure if you're really gonna hear it solo, but if I play it in the mix, this should just give it that little bit of clarity. So just sit it in its own space a little bit more. Really tiny adjustment, but does the job because the LA-2As are just awesome for that. Cool, so without it, then with it on. See that one decibel leveling it out? Yeah, it probably adds a little bit of gain as well, the way I've got it set up. It shouldn't, but probably does, and that just leveled it out for me. That was how we worked that. And after that, we're smashing it all back into a de -esser. So we're undoing loads of our work because we just had to, because that dodgy area with the microphone or however it's recorded, giving us loads of unpleasant syllabants. So we are grabbing that. If we audition you, we should be able to just listen to the sibilant areas and it's not particularly pleasant. See, now if it's horrible in isolation, you don't want that in your music. You want to be trying to take it out. And what you're listening to there is what I'm removing or what I'm dipping at least by uh, a couple of de decibels here. So if we flip it round, we've now controlled that a bit more. Riding all night long, with you by my side, nothing left to say, feeling emptiness inside. Cool, now it's a dead central sounding vocal. I wanted to have a bit of width to it. So one of the things I've done is sent it off to a bus here. And for the life of me, I'm not going to remember which, but we'll figure it out. Probably this one. Yeah, and I've put the real ATD on it. If you don't know what this plugin is, effectively it was like an artificial double tracker, so it makes things sound like they've been tracked twice, like layering vocals, something pioneered by the Beatles, so it's part of the Abbey Rhodes collection from Waves. I use it all the time to abuse sounds and widen them up, um, like check out the making wide bass sounds. I'll try and remember to link that. I use this to keep the center of the bass and then put everything else out to the sides. Gives like a really wide immersive sound. I used it on a bus here just to add a bit of an effect. So now we should have something like this. Riding all night long with you by my side. Gives us some fake double tracking. Now the reason there is an HEQ after it is I've put the HEQ in mid side mode and I've taken all the mids out. So you're just listening to the sides here. So if I mute the vocal and we just listen to the bus end. That sounds super trippy. And if you're in headphones, it should sound like it's almost sat on your shoulders sort of area. That's what I was going for. And then when you bring the vocal back into it, you've got this really like immersive vocal sound. Riding all night long. Yeah. With you by my side. Nothing. Call cool to the beans. So we've then got it going into a room delay. I've done the setups for these in my typical fashion of using the delay settings in the inspector to work out roughly what I would want and all those things. That's also pitch corrected and that gives us this. Riding all night long. With you by my side. Happy days. And it's also going into a VX room, but for whatever reason, the lexicon's not loading up. Either it's expired and I need to go and renew it, or for some reason, the iLock's not working. 
And looking at it, I'm going to assume it's the iLock because I can't see any other plugins in this project that would need it. So that's not good news. But we'll gloss over that. So there's a reverb on it. You know what reverb does. Hey, we'll skip over that. We've then got the vocal bus. This is where the cheat sheet starts to come in. First one is the CLA. But you know what? It's not really doing anything major. So I've not got any of the effects on. It's all like the set it and forget it settings with a tiny adjustment in terms of pitch. Yeah, tiny little bit of extra widening going on because we like to be naughty and really widen things up. And what this does, I use this because it just puts a little shield around the vocal. It's great for just going, here's your vocal sound. We're going to cut that just there and pop it in place. And it works perfectly for that. So we go like this. Introduce the LA. I wanted some analog feel to it because it's not a particularly nice sounding track overall. So we've pushed it into some tape here to give it a bit of saturation, a bit of wow and flutter. Only subtly though. With you by my side, nothing left to say. Paul Tech number one. Inside, silence fills the air. Paul Tech number two. Right at you. It feels like our time has passed. Neutron. And there's no going back. Riding all night long. With you by my side. Nothing left to say, feel an emptiness inside. People will tell you to cut on an EQ rather than boost. This has worked for me. There's boosts going on on both pull techs as well as some cuts. There's boosts going on in Neutron as well as some cuts. But there's boosts going on everywhere. That got me to what I needed it to sound like. And that's what we had to roll with. So. Let's just turn all of these guys off. And we're just going to leave it running over that little first section. I'll just bring everything in so you can hear what we achieved. And you should hopefully somewhat understand why I put each thing on and how I got to this stage. Best scenario would have been get the vocals re-recorded. Wasn't an option. Had to work with this. Worked with it. This is where we got to. Let's take a listen. Riding all night long With you by my side Nothing left to say Feel an emptiness inside Riding all night long With you by my side Nothing left to say Feel an emptiness inside Riding all night long With you by my side Nothing left to say Feel an emptiness inside Siding all night long With you by my side Nothing left to say Feel an emptiness inside Siding all night long With you by my side I'll do the same thing again, but in the mix, so you can really hear the differences. Where are we? That one. Boom, there you have it. I hope that was helpful, guys. 
I don't remember the couple of guys that left the comments. I'm going to try and go back through and I'll link this into you just so you guys definitely get to catch it. Sorry it took so long. I will see you on the next video.